the R is resources. So resources is such a huge word, isn't it? Like, what are the resources? Okay, so you have your mental resources, you know, like your acuity, your um, intellectual property, your ability to take what's in here and put it out there so that people can purchase it. But then there's all sorts of other resources. So thinking about all the resources that your business has, you know, just for example, let's pretend you are a naturopathic physician or, you know, you actually have a bricks and mortar business, like where people, you have a storefront where people can walk in off the street and decide to do business with you. How many resources is that business offering people? So maybe you just do nutritional assessments, you sell them some vitamins and they walk off. So how many other resources can you be for these people? And that is another conversation that I do have with people when I'm working with people, you know, like it's for me, those kind of things show up in people's human design chart in their gene keys charts, like what resources are they or what type of resource are they for their end user, their ideal client? That stuff is actually in your astrology. And also I get information about that. You talk to me about how you're running your business. And then I'm getting all of these intuitive hits over and over and over again about what you can add, what other resources can you be for your client. And then what happens is once you become the resource for your end user, the resource uh, that they want to consult, then what happens is you your business jumps in value. So you're not just a massage therapist or a body talk practitioner or a naturopathic physician or a traditional Chinese medicine or a astrologer or tarot card reader, like whatever it is that your business does, you become the resource. So a great question that you can ask yourself is what resources can I add to my business so that I become the resource. So that's the second element is resources. So T was talent, R is resources. So what resources do you have right now? And what resources are you offering to your end users so that you become the resource is the question. So how freaking cool is that?